Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, like the description says, we're showing you something uh, we've never done a video on before. No, it's not your very typical truck and we're gonna show you guys around it. I'm not, I'm not really 100% sure how to describe it. You can probably see a little bit of it behind us there. But uh, no, this is definitely the most interesting 389 we've ever looked at. Yep, and we came down just to check it out because our buddy Mike here's got it. He's actually selling this rig. And he was like, hey, y'all come check this thing out. And we were, it's a four door. So we were like, let's make a video and show everybody this thing. Exactly. All right, we'll flip the camera around and uh, go do stuff. Can we drive it? Absolutely, we can drive it. And by the way, we like to call it the XXL Peterbilt. Peterbilt XX. XL. Yeah. Is, it, is it the 389 XXL? <laughs> yeah. It's the big end. Okay. It's the big end. It's the limo. Yes. All right. I'm going to pull the camera out. Let's check this thing out. All right. There she is. That is a short hood 389 with a really big cab. It's not a sleeper. No. No, it's technically not a sleeper. But I mean, there's still plenty of room to sleep in it, but that's not what that is. Yeah. So this is pretty neat. Mike, what's the wheelbase on this, you know? 265. 265. Pretty neat setup. It's on a, this thing's on an air ride, three and a half inch drop axle on it. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's the perfect Uber XL, I think. <laughs> Can you imagine getting picked up by this dude? That would actually be pretty neat. That needs to be a video in itself. Like We somebody, need to start an Uber. Yeah. Yeah, we need to take this thing to different cities and pick people up in it whenever they whenever they request the, the black. It'd be like a TV show, the Cash Cab or whatever. We could like set it up with the uh, with the Peterbilt here. It'd be awesome. Let's go to Nashville tonight. Let's do it. I'm all in. So uh, basically, this conversion. Who does this conversion, Mike? So the company is named Bolt. Bolt. Yes. Okay. Bolt Truck Conversions. They're out of Indiana. Okay. And they built this truck, uh, it's a 17 model. Okay. So it was built right there at the end of 16. Nice. I like it. It's, I mean, it's like, it's literally the other front door. They just do it in the back. I mean, cause they never made a four door 389 or nothing. So, and then it's got this extra space back here, which inside has got a couch and stuff in it. Yeah. And it folds out into a bed. So technically it does have a bed in it. It does still, have a bed. Yes, still, it's, yeah, it still could be considered a sleeper. Yeah. yeah. It's a jackknife sofa. This is, I mean, I look at this and this is like the perfect, uh, so I don't know, like I, I feel like the person that wants this is, uh, they're hauling race cars, horses, or the family camper. I mean, this is like the ultimate like road trip vehicle. You put a big fifth wheel camper behind it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, toy hauler. Yeah, toy hauler. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, or haul your race car to the racetrack and all your buddies. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're doing like long trips. This is gooseneck setup's pretty cool. It's on air. Air ride, yeah. And then you got a bumper pull. You know, in case you buy the truck and you just couldn't quite afford like a really nice trailer right away, you could use the bumper pull until <laughs> you got some money to get a nicer trailer. That's the thing that the versatility. And especially like, you know, we do a lot of drag racing and our biggest problem we always run into because we've got our 389 is we can't haul a lot of people with us. Right. We can't haul the team with us. Yeah. This, you can load the team up off to the track. Doesn't matter if it's bumper pull or gooseneck. Yep. So uh, show us some of the stuff here on this dude. I know like it's got a lot of storage. So I think that's the, the big thing is, you know, you can haul six people in here effectively. So what do you do with six people's luggage if you don't have a trailer? Yeah. Well, uh, you've got storage on both sides of it. it. Pulls out, that's pretty sweet. Yes. And then you've got storage also over here. Look at that, it pulls out just like an RV would. You got it, literally like it. It's storage everywhere. Got uh, some train horns back just here. Got some train okay. horns. Yeah, we got train horns stuck there. Yeah, it looks like you left some leftover barbecue. Yeah, barbecue well, you and know, stuff that, here. like yeah. I said, hey, sometimes you gotta take the fam, right? You know, it'd be sweet if you made this pull out and had a grill in it, and like that would flip oh, down. Yeah. Pull it out, flip it off. Yeah. I'll ride at the racetrack. Yep. So the thinking pattern behind it when they built it was was actually pretty intelligent in that aspect. Yep. Uh, in effect. Now we can haul all the stuff to get your dirty clothes if you have been riding. So you've been out with side by sides or yep. whatever. You can throw your dirty boots in there. Nice. Don't have to worry about it. The, the thing's freaking cool. It's got Michelin's on it, the 22.5. So, yep. Is it uh, disc brakes or air brakes? 
Yeah. I mean, disc brakes or drum brakes. I mean, they're air brakes. So it's got disc on it. <laughs> It's got disc air brakes. Disc air brakes. Okay, <laughs> disc, good. Disc air brakes. <laughs> How big's the master cylinder on this thing? It's gonna need to be a pretty big master cylinder if they ain't air brakes. It's a yeah. It's got a six XL master cylinder there. So under the hood, we got a an MX power unit. Still weighs the same as a three eighty nine hood. Yep, disc brakes, air ride. What uh? Which engine is this, Mike? It is the MX-13 485 horse. 485. And I know everybody's going to be like, oh, you know, it needs a big cat in it or a big Cummins in it. And, and guys, trust me, I understand that. But if you have the chance, when you all get to drive it, this engine to this size of truck and the weight of it. Yeah. Pulls it, good. It gets I, out of its way. I bet that still has more torque than a Dodge. A lot more. <laughs> yeah. A lot more. Yeah. So it... It's clean. It's How many miles really, are on it? It's got a whole whopping 31,000 miles. Oh, wow. So it's like it's still brand new. It is brand yeah, new. Absolutely. For, yeah, for this for this engine and that transmission setup, yeah, that's that's no miles at all. And it's an automated 13? It is. Yep. yep. Okay. So you don't have to worry about rolling gears, you know, for the guys that are kind of uncomfortable about having to drive a manual. Yep. You don't have to worry about it. Get in there, get your cup of coffee, and hit the road. Nice. So, uh... I mean, that's the whole, that's the whole truck. I guess what uh, I'm most curious about is how does it look on the interior as far as, does it still look like a 389 dash? It does. It's actually still got the dash, but everything from the dash back is absolutely awesome. I guarantee the guys that do drive trucks, yeah, when they see the seats in this, they're going to be like, how do I get those seats in my truck? I'm excited. I want to go take it down the road. I mean, it's a freaking four-door Peterbilt. I mean, this thing is the Peterbilt limo. It's super cool. It'd be really awesome if we could take this thing back to the shop and make it a flat top. Then then you got something. Me and Tom are actually talking about that. How cool this thing look as a flat top. You probably lose a little creature coverance inside, but it would look cool as a flat top. Also, back here you got this little satellite deal. So I'm guessing um, I'm guessing it's got a way to do watch TV while you're going down the road. Hey, Mike. Yes, sir. The back of this thing's got one of those satellite deals. Oh, yeah. That's that's for you, buddies. Okay. Because you'd be driving. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, Whatever. today you're going to be my chauffeur. Oh, I'm the driver? Yeah, so I'll just get back there and, Actually, and watch TV. I, I think I'll drive today. Oh, you're going to drive today. Hang on, hold I'm, it. Okay, so you're going to be the chauffeur. It's fair. Oh, okay. All right. One and done. All right, ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, and Tommy takes the W. All right. So Tommy's the chauffeur today. So yeah, I get to drive. Like, I want to drive it through that. Well, y'all can take turns driving, but I'm going to sit in the back and take it easy. All right, let's go ahead and get down the road. All right. Dude, it's like, it's pretty roomy in here. You weren't kidding. It's the XXL. I mean, he's got pillows and blankets back here. I mean, we're just ready for a road trip. Hi, Tommy, where are we going to now? Uh, we are going to Davis, Oklahoma. Okay, Davis, Oklahoma it is. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Nice. I mean, you can fake shift it, just so that everybody sees it. Shifts like an automatic, it's slow. <laughs> I will say this, the other day I noticed that if you will do the manual mode on it, it will shift surprisingly fast. Much faster? Way faster than I imagine. Let me say that. Yeah. Uh, yep. All you gotta do is just tap it right there. Yeah. I don't even know what gear we're in, but we're 12. Yeah. So if you're like, okay, it automatically will override you if nice. it needs to. But when you slow down, this truck is so impressive in the ride quality. But also, how quiet it is, too. I know, Brian, we didn't get to talk about it, but underneath the cab, yep. when Bolt built it, they spray foam insulated everything from front to back underneath the cab. It's extremely quiet. It's, it's surprisingly quiet. It's yeah. just like riding in a pickup truck or a car. I mean, it's yeah. like... It's very surprising once you get to drive it. 
you, like you could you, you ride in here and it, you, I mean I, I feel like I'm in a gigantic limo <laughs> that you can stand up in yeah I mean look I'm, <laughs> I'm just, here here take that literally standing up in a second and there's yes. a TV right here I guess that just like flips down I don't know how that works I'm gonna fall over here so if you're in a road you trip a house back here yeah I mean, this thing's pretty sweet it's got cup holders leather <laughs> I mean yeah, I mean, literally, like, if you're on a road trip and you're like, hey, I need to stand up, my legs are starting to hurt or something, just stand up. Yeah. Now, for the driver, that's a different story. And it's comfortable back here. It's not shaking. Like, I mean, it's, uh, dude, this thing is super cool. You got wood floors in it. I mean, yeah. These seats are nice. What do you think? What do, how do you like yours? My seat? Yeah. I love my seat. It's actually really comfortable. I've never, I've never sat in one of these before. I don't know what brand this is. I don't either. I could be okay driving that as well. Oh, you got it. Man, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Say, so don't be afraid to get after it now. I got it in the woods. Look how quick that shifts. It's quiet. I, it's, I, I, I'm just impressed with how quiet it is inside the smooth. Yeah, like it, it really is. It's just, it's freaking awesome. You got that 12th gear. Watch how fast that 12th gear this thing will go from 60 to 80. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So we're doing the speed test then. Speed test it is. All right, 60. All right, to the floor. It's kind of good. 70. Oh. It's just smooth as you could ask for it yeah. at 75 mile an hour. Very smooth ride. I would 100% love to drive this thing like a thousand miles yeah. just to figure out like what what the driver fatigue standpoint is versus a pickup truck. Absolutely. Um, and we're not talking about like versus semi trucks because I mean obviously it's a different like haul. Completely but, different. Yeah, I mean if we're talking about you know a bumper pull trailer or a gooseneck trailer to haul a car around it, nobody's doing that in a semi. So take this versus your average everyday pickup truck that you would haul that in. Like drive a dually a thousand miles and this then drive this a thousand better. miles. Absolutely, and I think too the the big thing with it is, is we're, we're not trying to present this as it's a big rig that you're going to go haul no. heavy loads with. No, this is absolutely not something you're going to go haul over. Tomorrow. No, this, and we're not even going to try to present that. This is for the guy that loves Peterbilt, yeah. but also enjoys the outdoors or sports or cattle, horse anything that they need to pull a trailer with and have always wanted a Peterbilt and want the ability to be comfortable, drive safely with your family. Yeah, I mean, the, the, that's a big thing, the safety side of it. Because if you're hauling a, a, a big trailer and that stuff, the brakes, just the, the whole weight of the truck, everything else is going to carry that down the road much oh, safer than you're going to do on a dually. Oh, absolutely. You think about it, the guys, I see a lot of guys with one-ton pickups hauling 40, 45-foot fifth wheels. Yeah. You know? And the amount of weight that they're towing, yes, the truck can tow it, but if you've got to stop it, it's sketchy. It's real sketchy. Dude, this thing's cool. I really like it. It's something, it, it's different. It is different and it's pretty awesome for what it is. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Let us know what you think about this custom Peterbilt 389. The Pete Limo. The Peterbilt Limo. The Peterbilt XXL. I, I like it. I mean, like, it makes me want to go on a road trip. The thing's super cool. I know. That's that. that I, I know. I said it like ten times, but I really want to drive that thing like a thousand miles just okay. to see how fatigued you are at the end of it. I don't think you really would be. No, not the at all. The thing's super good. And then the price on it is actually pretty reasonable. So this 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 truck is up for sale. Just in case you guys are wondering, we're not selling it. This guy's selling it. I'm selling it. It's in the description below, the phone number slash email you need to uh, get, get in contact with. Yes, yeah. sir. So, the 
the price. What is the price of this vehicle? Today, $289.99.99. $289. So we'll just $289. say $290 to make it simple, right? <laughs> but the $289.99.99. Yeah, basically, basically $290,000. Yes. And it's only got 30,000 miles on it. This is practically a brand new rig, guys. Definitely. Well, I don't know what a conversion like that would cost. I don't like either. new, uh, if you were to even try to get one right now, but like it'd be way up there. It did be pretty high. And yeah, all absolutely. things considered, I mean, it's, I think it's well worth the price. Yep. Yeah, 100% for sure. Guys, Other than that, we're done. Yeah. I think you'll first off and buy. I'm glad y'all got to check it out. I'm glad I got to drive it. I'm glad yeah. I won uh, Paper Rock Scissors. Yeah. Well, <laughs> always, you know, always, always a good victory. <laughs> we get done drive. We get done with this video. I'm driving the truck. I just, just so everybody knows, <laughs> we get done with this video driving that truck. So I, I won't drive four-door Peter Bill, dang it. All right. Well, we'll get, we'll let you get right to that then. So you guys know what to do. You have to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. And then check out the link down here. There's a phone number and an email that you guys need to be getting in contact with if this needs to be in your life, which I think it does. So you guys know what to do. We'll see you next time. Later. Later.